Welcome everyone to this tutorial. I titled this tutorial The Cool Blend Effect of CorelDRAW and uh, obviously the, uh, the tool that I'm using here is the blend tool. So if you look at these four images, abstract images, these are done with the uh, blend tool within CorelDRAW. And it's very and it's very interesting result because then it looks like it's it's an abstract um, work of art. So anyway, let's uh, let's demonstrate how to do this. I'm just gonna expand this one, and then we're going to do it in this black background. Okay. So, but before making it black, I'm just gonna make it gray first so that we can see the line. Hmm, that's a nice effect too. Anyway, so here, uh, so let's say we're gonna recreate this one, not exactly like that, but but very similar. So, so what I did there, I just used my uh, Vizier tool. So you click, drag, click, and make sure it's a curve. Drag, click, drag, and just make random curve lines say for example like that okay and then i'm going to create another one somewhere here in this side click reshape make it a curve okay and then i'm going to color this say yellow right mouse click on the yellow for an outline and then this one i'll make it blue so light, uh, right mouse click here in cyan. And I'm going to color this black. So now in order to do the, uh, the blend tool, so you click, you have to click on both, uh, both curves. So click on the first one, hold down shift, and click on the second one. And then you go to effects, and then you go to blend. So once you go to blend, you're going to have this dialog box here. And right now here it says you can do 100 steps and then you click on let's do this first the color blend click on apply it's amazing right so it's uh, it's very nice because then it so so what happened here is that we did 100 steps right so the first curve okay uh, made 100 steps transitioning to the second curve. That's why it looks like this. And then another option too here in the blend tool is that you can uh, change the color blending. So we click on the second one and then click on apply. And it changes and it looks like there's highlights now. And if you click on the other one here and then click on apply that's amazing that's a really nice very nice abstract effect now you're not stuck with that one say for example you want to experiment on the shape see this one that's the first uh, that's the second curve right so if you click on the if you zoom in and then click on that one and then zoom out and then move it around you can even rotate it so click one more time and then let's rotate it this way. So basically you can you can really experiment on on the abstract. Um, so not only that, you can also I'm just gonna move this here. You can also change the curve. So let's go to the first one again. Okay, I'm still in the second one. And I click on my shape tool and then I click on this. And then I can reshape it. Let's say like that. Very nice. Now you can even add one more node and then push it down. And uh, I'm really amazed with the effect of the blend tool in Corel Draw. That's it. So now let's go to the next one. So the next one we were. That's a really beautiful abstract pattern. Okay, let's go to this one here. So, so what I did here, it's a shape actually, it's a polygon. So I'm gonna go here and then I'm going to click on my 
uh, polygon tool I'm gonna click and drag okay and then I'm going to I'll make that white first right and then I want to make it curve okay so in order to make this uh, radius corners so not not sharp edges so you go to tools sorry not you go to tools you go to windows dockers and then go to corners okay corners so once you click on corners you're gonna have this um, options here so this is the radius see the radius changes and you've got a preview there which is nice so I'm happy with that you can do fillet scallop and chamfer fillet is the radius corners like this so anyway i'm going to click on apply right now what i'm going to do here i'm going to uh, click plus sign your keyboard to duplicate right and then i'm going to shrink it down but while while doing this you have to hold down the shift the shift key so that it would go in right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to I'm going to make that uh, yellow and then I'm going to rotate it okay and then we'll let's let's do the blend now so click on the 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 white um, the white polygon and then hold down shift uh, choose the second polygon and then we go to blend so blend is already here so I'm just going to click on blend here okay let's go uh, yeah well, let's start with 100 and see how it goes and then we click on we will start first with the first color blend option click on apply it's amazing so now second one and third one and say for example you want the uh, you want uh, you don't want uh, you want a uh, what do you call this a this color to be say blue so you have to zoom in to get the you know the the big polygon and then right mouse click here and let's see what's oh very nice very very nice very abstract very nice so now I also found out that you can also move it and it will give you so I'm I'm selecting the the smaller polygon right I, I can move it somewhere here and look at the effect right and then now um, now see these steps here I can also increase the steps right uh, let's see let's increase the steps to instead of 100 we'll make it 150 click on apply I can even go 200 click on apply so see that's the effect now if you uh, you can also control the uh, outline so you double click on the outline here and let's say we'll make it hairline click OK then you can have that effect very nice now um, let's do the circle one so I made circle here so combining two um, two shapes I'm gonna expand this one so let's start with a polygon or a circle first circle and then I'm gonna make that say light blue and then I'm going to create a polygon I'm gonna move it there and call it a yellow and then I'll do the I'll hold on shift and select the circle and then instead of 200 I'll just make it 100 for now but you can change it later I'll uh, start with the first color blend apply second one the third one yeah so you can also like I said before you can also move this around and then you can even move it very far now say for example you still want to blend this too say this okay and hold down shift and you click this the big the big polygon okay and I'll click on apply 
that's amazing so it's really unpredictable what you what you will get once you change the settings or you know or combine the uh, or make another blend to another blended object um, and I think lastly here uh, how I did it is you've got two lines right so for example I'll make I'll make one line here I'll make that white or yellow for now or green let's try green and then I'll plus sign my keyboard and then I'm going to oops plus sign and I'm gonna so that's duplicate right I'm gonna put it here and then I'm going to create a curve so shape tool click here right mouse click and then to curve and say I'm gonna move it I'm gonna shape it like this okay and then I'm going to let's just say I'm going to color that orange like that and then let's do the blending so this one and this one here um, click 100 and then I can still change this one I can move it around like that which can give you very nice effect so anyway uh, that's all for today uh, I showed you a lot of possibilities in creating a blend effect uh, creating abstract images with the use of blend effect you can use this probably in backgrounds or or even an artwork okay uh, I hope you like it um, if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and if you already subscribed I will I'm doing daily uh, or I mean a daily live streaming so watch out for the next tutorial tomorrow bye for now